So the girls arrive at the big city, where they are met by Sage's cousin and wife, with whom the girls will be staying before attending school. Well, ain't that nice? Question. Something the show doesn't make clear right away, while being extremely vital detail, is the fact that the school actually offers accommodation for the students. The girls will be staying at the school campus for the majority of the show. So why write this story beat in the first place? The staying at relatives part, I mean. Why not just streamline things and make it so that the girls arrive at the school at the appropriate hour, get their housing sorted out, and just attend the academy straight away? There's nothing of importance that happens before. And it's not like introducing the butch lesbian and her scissoring partner has any significance. These two have absolutely no bearing on the story. They don't add anything to the narrative, they got no story or arc of their own, even their personality starts and ends on the fact that they are indeed a lesbian couple. They are utterly superfluous characters. Why waste time on all this? Well, I just answered my own question, didn't I? It's representation. And by the logic of untalented piece of shit hack writers, that in and of itself is meaningful. It's a very modern reflection of the world. Our characters are really diverse, our cast is really diverse, and that's one of the things that excited me the most about it. According to them, apparently, the point of characters isn't telling stories, but simply having them. I for one would never tokenize my characters like this. Seriously, free advice. If your characters can be dusted from existence and your story remains exactly the same, then you should definitely do it. Give the screen time to characters and events that actually deserve it. A dozen 20 minute episodes is not really all that much time, especially when juggling a wide cast of characters and trying to introduce a brand new world. So it's better to get the story going fast. As we'll discover going forth, this show wastes so much time on lame useless crap, that at the end of the day nothing will be accomplished. All the characters have the complexity and charisma of a moldy piece of toast, and the world building is non-existent. Whenever it's not contradictory and perplexing, that is. The time spent with the useless dykes, for example, is time that could have been spent fleshing out anything else. So while we are on the roll of introducing every single problem the series drowns in throughout its run, bad characterization, insipid jokes, horrid animation, and a general feeling of oh god why am I watching this, the first episode also decides to utterly decimate the world building in one fell swoop. There is a spell that manifests a portal, which allows the caster to break the laws of space and time, and just hop anywhere they wish to be. It activates in a second, takes no energy to wield, and is all around just a casual thing. And yet, this is the only instance we ever see it used. As a teleporter in this one house. What? The actual... FUCK! Do these utter gutter brains making this shit realize at all what they are doing? You cannot have something like this be a casual thing that just exists. Do you have any idea how useful something like this would be? Instantly leaping from one place to another? If people can just conjure up these doors at will, they would be used for everything. There would never be need for trains and wagons and fucking troll operated gondola lifts ever again. Facilities like schools would be riddled with these. Think how much more compact everything would be built if there was no longer need for hallways or staircases or elevators. Entire fucking towns would be nothing but interdimensional doors in endless rows. The world would be unrecognizable after this kind of discovery. And that's just the beginning. People would absolutely weaponize this shit. They would throw doors at each other and have them lead into rooms filled with blades or dynamite or sharks or laser beams or pedophiles or anything else to fuck your enemies up. Or better yet, just drop your enemies on top of an active volcano. 
And if you can create something like this with no penalty, no incantation, no materials, no toll of any kind, then what else can you do? Stitching distant points of space together is already as complex as it comes, but there's also flying, lightning casting, conjuring weapons, pyromancy, hydrokinesis, and growing dicks out of thin air. Oh yes, we'll get to that. The magic in this universe is boundless, which is a horrid decision when creating any story. Just think about it. Magic is not rare, it's everywhere. These civilians are able to craft portals which they use casually in place of the stairs for fuck's sake. By all logic, veteran archmages should be exponentially more powerful. Whenever there's a problem in this show, and it's not immediately fixed by professional mages with a simple flick of the wrist, it makes it so that every character in the show is utterly retarded for not thinking of it. It's like if you had a character with toothache, and yet they refuse to go fix it in a setting where every single rando on the street is a fucking dentist! Spoilers, that's exactly what happens in every single episode of this show. You cannot do this shit! There has to be rules and severe limitations to your magic system, otherwise you kill the investment of anyone with even half a brain. And no, it's not like this is the only show that tries to get away with this horse shit. Everything from fucking Harry Potter to the whole genre of light novel battle school anime harem bollocks has the same fuck up. The author just throws in all this shit that sounds and looks cool without putting even a second of thought into how it would impact the world. Anything can happen, yet the most obvious logical thing never happens, because nobody cares. Except for me. How the fuck is it possible that Full Metal Alchemist is the only show in existence that even tries to have a magic system with actual rules? And even that has some issues. This is yet another derivative element High Guardian shite steals from all the stories that have come before it while creating a new gold standard in sucking. Congratulations. Oh, and these two dyke fucks are real assholes. They make Rosemary and Sage purposefully climb to the topmost floor of their million dollar fantasy Hollywood fuck crib, only to use a fucking portal to send them to their guest room. Why? Just use the spell on the ground floor, you miserable cunts. And why the fuck do you have a wedding portrait of you two decorating a guest room? Who the fuck does that? Oh yeah, we are lesbians, and don't you fucking forget it even for a second! God, I fucking hate this fucking show! We are still in the first episode! Fuck!